What's going on guys? Welcome back for another video where I show you how to win this week's Forza Trial. This week we have Jumping Jeeps. There's a cross-country event for Jeeps to an A spec. Now I messed around with a few different Jeeps and the one I found the most success with was a 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. I made a tune for it. I'll show it on screen right now. It's called Best A800 Jeep. Now I put a pretty good amount of time into tuning this vehicle. The only thing that really sucks about this car in particular, and I'm assuming the Trackhawk might be the same, is even if you change the springs out, the ride height is only like 8.5 or something like that max, which is kind of low for cross country because you're doing a lot of jumping and yeah, rebounding and stuff like that it can be kind of annoying, especially if you have hard braking sections following a jump, your car can get kind of skittish. So I would say just be careful on certain jumps, mainly in the second race, the races 1 and 3, the circuit races, you'll be fine handling, not going to have any issues at all. Race 2, there are a couple spots to kind of be a little cautious, a little more conservative during. You'll see towards the end of the race, there's a section where you go through like this little hay bale field, and then right after that you take a jump into the water. If you don't have your wheel straight going into that jump, you, when you land, you can actually kind of get turned around pretty easily or be bent out of shape. And if you hit those hay bales, you can also slow down considerably. So you try to maneuver around those if you can. I try to do it. You can kind of see in my clip that I'll attach. I, did a, I try to do a pretty good job of avoiding hay, hay bales. But as long as you have your car straight going into a jump and not try to overcorrect if you think you're going to rebound harshly, then you'll be fine. That's the only downside about this car is the ride height not being greatest for cross country. But I think overall it is the best vehicle for this. Like I messed around with a couple of the Wranglers and the CJ5 and this car just outperformed it at them and pretty much both, you know, both race types. I didn't really mess around with the Trailcat or the Trackhawk because I, I don't know. The Trackhawk is very similar to this but this one can be tuned just a little bit more. And the Trailcat is probably faster than this, it just it accelerates rather slow, so I didn't even want to mess with that. But if you guys use one of those vehicles, let me know down in the comments what you use and what worked for you. If this vehicle worked for you and this tune in particular, let me know also. I put a lot of time into these tunes and it's nice to see people actually using them and finding success with them. So I think you guys will be okay if you use this vehicle and this tune. Even if you don't use this tune, there's there's many out there that are probably competitive. I do think this is the best car for this event. And hopefully you guys can win this trial. It's kind of silly. I think like the main prize is like a red racing suit. Woohoo. I think that's kind of silly. I wish they'd just give us like credits. Like 100,000 credits or something. 250,000 credits. Something like that. Whatever. If you like, if you want your red racing suit, you know, win this trial and you'll be able to have your red racing suit. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some sort of usefulness from watching this. I hope it helped you out. And I will see you guys next week.
Thank you.